Hello my dear students, I am Mushu Upadhyay from Angri College of Commerce and Science. Today I am going to present a session on globalization of business that comes under business study part. Yes, let us, before going for globalization of a business, let us know about the meaning of business. What do you mean by business? Business is an economic activity concerned with the production and sale of goods and services undertaken for the purpose of earning profit. See, business is what? One of the economic activity. Why we call business is an economic activity? Because it is related to what? Money. Therefore, we are calling it as what? Economic activity. Why we are calling business an economic activity? Because it is related to what? Money. That is also in business, what we are doing? We are going to uh, manufacture the goods. Production is what? We are going to manufacture the goods. After manufacturing the goods, we are going to sell those goods. Now by selling those goods, we are earning what? Profit. Profit is the more main motive uh, to start what? Business. Therefore, business is an economic activity it, which is concerned with production, sale and by earning profit. Yes? Business is an economic activity. Why we call business as an economic activity? Because it is related to money. And in business, what we are doing? We are going to manufacture the goods. And also we are going to sell those goods. By selling those goods, we are going to earn what? Profit. Yes? The next, we move towards the globalization of business. See, my dear students, what we are seeing here? It is the model of globe. Uh, it is what? The model of globe which you have seen in your schools. See here. Uh, we have we can see that India is there. Yes, here India is there. If any Indian based company starts its business in Pakistan or in China or in Bangladesh, that is called as what? Globalization. Globalization is nothing but what? Here we are going to establish our business beyond the boundaries of our nation. Yes, it is called as what? Globalization in a simple meaning. Let us see the definition of a globalization of globalization see the imf imf means international monetary fund defined globalization as what the growing economic interdependence of countries worldwide through increasing value and variety of cross border transactions in goods and services and of international capital flow and also through the more rapid and world spread diffusion of technology it is a big definition that we can discuss in a part by part see first point is what globalization is Globalization is the increasing cross-border movement of goods and services. What we are doing in globalization? Say for example, India, Indian based company is there. That Indian based company sell its goods. Sell its goods to which country? Sri Lanka. Yes, it is called as what? A cross-border movement of what? Goods and services. Here we are uh, exchanging goods between one and Another country is called as what? Movement of cross border goods and services. After this, the second point is international flow of fund, technology, and information. Here, not only we are establishing business in another country, also at the same time, here capital will flow, also the technology will flow, also the information will be just exchanged. Take for example, USA. USA based company is there. If that company starts its business in India, and the US dollar will come in India only. Huh? The US based company, if that company starts its business in India, it will bring what? US dollar also will bring what? Advanced technology and also they bring what? Information to India. Yes, it is the second point which I have taken from the definition. And the third one is what? Formation of world worldwide market by obtaining raw material and other resources from cheap market. See, the second part tells about what? Here, as a whole world, we are treating as a one market. Here, whole world, we are treating as a one market. Wherever the raw material available at a cheaper rate, we can get that raw material from there only. Take for example, three countries are there USA, China, Japan. The raw material which is available in USA is at only 60 and in China 50 and in Japan 40. Now, 
we have to make the decision that we have to take raw material from that country in which the raw material is available at a cheaper rate means we will take raw material from which country japan why because there the raw material is available at a cheaper rate at a cheaper cost yes it is the third point the next we move towards fourth point production of goods in any region of the world at cheaper spot Ah, uh, here we can undertake the manufacturing process at any corner of the world where the production cost will be less. Ah, uh, wherever the production cost is less, there I can manufacture my goods because the production cost will be less there. Take for example, USA based iPhone company is there. USA based, ah, uh, which company is there? iPhone company is there. Yes, Apple company is there. Ah, uh, the Apple company, ah, uh, the give its manufacturing unit to China. and you will say why because here the labor cost is what very less therefore they get their things done through with the help of all other nations where the labor cost is very less it is the fourth point which we taken from the definition it is all about what definition of a globalization which is given by imf imf means international monetary fund let us Now discuss about the factors which include in globalization. What are the factors which are included in globalization that we will discuss now one by one. See the first one. The first one is globalization refers to the worldwide phenomena of technical, economic, political, and cultural exchange. Ah, with the use of globalization here, countries are exchanging what their culture, their technology, their economy, and their political. Yes, I have given already one example. Indian based companies there. If that Indian based company starts its company in China, ah, what will do? Ah, the Indian culture will go to China, and the Indian uh, economy will go to China. That is called as what exchange of technology, economic, political, and cultural exchange. Here we are not doing only business. Also, by doing business, we are exchanging technical, economic. Political and cultural things also. Yes. Then we see the second point. Globalization encourages international capital and trade overcoming the political barriers among the countries. Whatever the barriers are there, whatever the conflicts are there between the countries, beyond that conflict, we are doing what businesses. That is called as what international capital and trade overcoming. International capital is if US based company start its business in India, ah, uh, it will bring what capital. Whatever the conflict complication ah uh, is there between US and India, that will not come between what the globalization of a business. Yes, these are the first two factors which are important in what globalization. And the third one is what globalization. Globalization. Creates free trade zone by removing import and export. You okay, see here, ah, uh, to increase to promote the globalization, we are making what free trade zone. Free trade zone means they are free from paying any taxes here. Import and export duties are there. Duties means what taxes. Duties means what taxes. Here, those zones who are engaged in globalization, those zones we can make what trade. A uh, free trade zone means here we does not impose any export and import duties to those organizations who are engaged in the globalization. It is the third point. And the fourth one is what through container services in shipping, globalization reduces the transportation expenses. Uh, with the help of what ship container see. Ah, uh, it is the picture of what container. We are transfer. We are shipping. Ah. Uh, Goods from one country to another country with the use of what container? By moving goods with the help of container to the ship, we are decreasing what our expenses. We are reducing what our expenses. Our expenses will be reduced by using what container ship to base movement or transportation. Yes. Then let's see the fifth point. The fifth point is all about what. Globalization helps to reduce the restrictions on capital investment or fully removes the barriers on capital flow. Whatever the capital is there, capital is for money. Whatever the movement of money is there between two countries, that will be 
free from any restrictions. Uh, already I have told you an example. US investor companies there. If that US investor company start its business in India, there is no restriction on the flow of all US dollar is capital. We can easily uh, transfer or move our capital from one country to another country because of what? Globalization. Globalization includes the free flow of capital from one country to another country. Uh, yes. These are these are what factors which are included in globalization. Next, we are going to discuss about what characteristics of globalization. Characteristics means features. What are the features which comes under globalization? That we will discuss now one by one. Let's see the first one. Increase in international trade at a faster rate for the growth of world economy. Up to the growth of world economy, uh, globalization plays an important role. Uh, increase in international business in international business rate increases. At the same time, world economy rate also increases. If international trade increases, world economy also increases. It is first one. And then second one, see. Increase the international flow of capital, including foreign investment. Uh, you have seen, uh, you have heard the word FDI. FDI means foreign direct investment. Uh, by the use of globalization, any foreign company, any foreign investors can invest their money in a other country also. That is called as what? Increase the international flow. Flow means what? Moment here, the moment of a capital will be increased by giving what? Permission for a globalization. Globalization will increase. Globalization will increase the moment of what? Foreign capital. Capital means money. The next, see the third point. Globalization creates international agreement leading to organizations like what? WTO. WTO means World Trade Organization and OPEC. OPEC means what? Oil producing and exporting countries. Uh, globalization means what? Here the agreement will take between what? More than two countries. Those agreement will lead towards what? The establishment of world, 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 world level institutions such as what? WTO and OPEC. WTO and OPEC are the outcome of what? Globalization agreement. Here the agreement will take place between the more than two countries. That agreement will lead towards the establishment of a new international institution such as what? WTO and OPEC. OPEC means oil producing and exporting countries. Whatever the oil producing countries are there now, those countries association is called as what? OPEC. The next, see the fourth one. Development of globalized global financial system. Globalization will leads to what? Global level financial system. Our national level financial system includes what? Financial market, financial institutions and financial intermediaries. These are national level. Uh, when we are going for globalization, we will come across what? Global level financial system where we come across what? Global level financial markets, global level financial institutions and global bankings. It may be World Bank. Example for World Bank. Yes. These are the first three features. The next fifth one is, let us discuss about the fifth one. The fifth one is increases economic practices uh, like outsourcing by multinational company. Outsourcing means what? Huh? Take for example, a company is there. If a company uh, transfer its activities, activities to B company, uh, that is called as what? Outsourcing. Whatever the activity work of A company is there, that work will be done by whom? B company. Here A company is giving its activities or work to whom? B company. Means what? They are giving their work to the out person. Out person is third person. That is called as what? Outsourcing by multinational companies. Multinational companies means young men sees. Here the word is circular as multi means more than uh, one. National means what? Nation. Company means what? Enterprises. Uh, whatever the multinational companies are there, they can go for what? Outsourcing their work. Outsourcing their work means wherever the work will available at a cheaper rate, that nation they will transfer their activities and they will uh, take work from them only. The next, see the sixth one. Creates international cultural exchange. 
already I told you, here not only we are doing business, also doing business we are exchanging what the cultural, economical, political exchanges are also taking place due to what globalization. Globalization is nothing but the movement of goods and services. It is also the movement of what culture, technology also. The next, see the seventh one. Create international travel and tourism. If USA based uh, company is there in India, uh, those USA uh, people will come where India means in India traveling and tourism will also increase. Uh, by the use of globalization, we can also increase what travel and tourism in our nation also. Then I see the eighth one. Spread of local foods such as pizza and Indian foods to other countries. Huh? We have seen what McDonald's, huh? McDonald's and KFF. Huh? These are what foreign country foods. They are also coming what India also. Here we are exchanging food culture also. Hmm? These are what few features regarding what globalization. These are what few features regarding characteristics regarding what globalization. Then next we will discuss now what are the advantages, what are the benefits which we are availing by doing what globalization of global business. See the first one, globalization promotes economic growth and generates a wider range of products and services. Uh, globalization will help us to increase our economy. Economy means whatever the production, whatever the consumption is there, that we will increase by undertaking what globalization. Also, uh, with the use of globalization, we can provide wider range of goods and services. The goods and services which are available in a foreign country, those goods and services can also we can avail avail with the help of what globalization. The next second point. Second point is what globalization helps to increase the standard of living the people. Uh, globalization will help the people to increase what their standard of living. Yes. See, uh, by this diagram we can understand how the globalization will help to increase the standard of living. See, globalization leads to what? Business. Business leads to what? Employment. By starting businesses, employment, huh, they will get. Unemployed person will get what? Employment opportunity. That is uh, by getting employment, they are earning what? Salary. By earning salary, they can uh, uh, increase the standard of living. Uh, once again, I will tell you, globalization will lead to what? Starting business in uh, other countries. By starting business, what we are providing? We are providing employment opportunity to the unemployed persons. By giving them employment, what they can earn? They can earn more salary money. By using that salary money, they can increase what the standard of living. And like this, globalization will help the people uh, to increase their standard of living. Yes? The next, we will see the, we will move further. Next, third one. Globalization has made the availability of similar type of products all over the world. Globalization, we will do globalization in such a way that the similar product will be available in each and throughout the world wide. Take for example, this is the Vivo phone. You can purchase Vivo phone in India, China, and Sri Lanka also. The mobile will remain what? Same. The model will remain what? Same. And this will be a yeah, this is uh, happened because of what globalization. Globalization made the similar product available throughout the globe. Yes. The next fourth one. Globalization increases the GDP. GDP means what? Gross domestic product of the country. Yes. A uh, globalization will help for the, uh, to increase the GDP. Uh, now we will see what you mean by GDP. See, GDP means what? GDP is the final value uh, of the goods and services produced within a geographical boundaries of a country during a specific period of time, normally a year. This meaning, I will explain it for an example. Take for example, geographical boundary means what? India. India is a one country within that geographical boundary. Period. Period means what? 2020. In India, in the year 2020, production has taken place of how much? 10 lakh rupees. This 10 lakh rupees value is called as what? GDP. G 
GDP is nothing but the final value of a goods and services which are manufactured in a particular country in a particular period is called as what GDP. To increase this GDP, the globalization will help the particular country. Yes. The next, we will move towards the fifth point. The fifth point is what globalization has helped. Helpful in increasing the income of the people. Huh? Huh? Globalization also helps to increase what the income of the people by providing what the em uh, employment opportunity to them. By providing employment opportunity, the globalization help the people to increase their income level. Then let's see the sixth one. By buying the products from other countries, customers are offered a much wider choice of goods and services. I can purchase goods and services from any areas across the country whenever or whatever the goods are available. Uh, whatever the goods are available across the country, those all goods I can uh, purchase with the help of what? Globalization. Yes, these are what? Wait a minute. These are uh, these are characteristics of globalization, sorry, benefits of globalization. Now we will go after the benefits of globalization, we will discuss about what disadvantages of globalization. What are the demerits uh, of globalization? See the first one, in order, the first one is in order to cut, the, cut down the cost, many firms in developed nations have outsourced their manufacturing and white collar jobs to third world countries where the cost of labor is very less. Take already I told you example USA. USA based companies there. That USA based company will outsource their work. Work to whom? India. Why? Because in India the labor cost is very less. If we outsource our work to other countries, that country people will not get what employment opportunity. To cut down the cost, cost the multinational companies will outsource their work to other countries where the labor cost is very less or cheap. Then let's see the second one. Globalization has resulted in a fairly competitive global market with the uh, embarrassment of uncertain practices in uh, un unethical practices in business dealings. Uh, to earn more and more profit, uh, the multinational companies will apply what unethical practices in their business. Unethical practices means what? Providing low quality of goods and services, selling goods at a higher prices. These are not unethical practices. Uh, to earn more profit, such kind of unethical practices are followed by whom? Globalized enterprises. Yes. The next, see, we will see the third one. The third one is, it is also observed that globalization uh, helps terrorists and criminals. Uh, globalization sometimes helps the terrorists, uh, terrorists and criminals also. Uh, by, by the shape of doing business, they come here and they will engage themselves in a criminal or a terrorist activities. Sometimes, only sometimes, uh, not all times, sometimes globalization also helps for our terrorists and criminals. The next we will see the fourth one. Globalization has expanded the growth and development of cities which have been reduced to garbage dumps where all the industrial waste is accumulated and pollution levels are sky high. Whatever the industrial waste is there, whatever the industrial waste is there, that waste will be dumped in one in one place that will accumulated by accumulated that waste that will be sky high. Whatever the waste is there of a industries that waste will dump in a one area that dump by accumulating that dump it will be sky high. Huh? Globalization sometimes uh, leads to what pollution of a environment. Then let's see the fourth, fifth point. Another comment labeled is that the rich are getting richer and the poor are struggling for a square meal. Uh, globalizing, globalization, rich persons are becoming very rich and poor are uh, remaining poor only. Uh, globalization only help the persons who are rich only. Uh, globalization no way is helping the poor person to increase their standard of living. Uh, then Next, see the sixth one. It is, uh, nowadays it is very trending. Huh? See, 
some of the deadly viral diseases such as AIDS and cancer, dengue fever, etc., spread over the world wide. Huh? Uh, due to the globalization, globalization means what? Uh, other countries people will come here and they will do business. By coming to our company, they will bring what? Deadly virus such as what? Corona. You are knowing. Uh, corona is basically from China. Now it is spread worldwide. Why? Because of what? Globalization. Because of what? Moment of culture, moment of economy. Uh, it is the best example for what? This advantage of a globalization. Yes. Then next one. Yes. See the seventh one. Globalization has led to environmental degradation. To establish a company, to start an industry, whatever the forests are there, ah, we by destroying those forests, we are establishing what our industry, our multinational company. To build a multinational companies, we require what area? That area we will take from where forests. Why? Because cities are full of what buildings, houses, and offices. Ah, the remaining area is lies in where forests. Those forest area will be degraded for the purpose of what starting globalized businesses. This like this, the globalization uh, has so more demerits uh, also at the same time they have what advantages also. Yes, dear students, this is all about what globalization of a business. And thank you very much.